Hi, now let's see an overview on the features of ReactJS. ReactJS can be used on the client and server side as well as with the other frameworks being it's a library. It uses component and data patterns that improves readability, reusability and helps to maintain larger apps. The features of ReactJS plays an essential role in front-end ecosystem. Number one, J, yes, X, JavaScript XML. <clears throat> this is a recommended JavaScript syntax extension. HTML-like syntax processed into JavaScript calls of the React framework, makes it easier to write and add HTML in the React. This JSX converts HTML tags into React elements. We will have this detail in the next session. Number two, components. ReactJS is made up of multiple components and each component has its own logic and controls. Components are independent and reusable bits of code. This components helps you maintain the code when working on larger projects. Number three, one-way data binding. If data flow is in another direction, then it requires additional features. It is because components are supposed to be immutable and the data within them cannot be changed. Flux is a pattern that helps you to keep your data unidirectional. This one-way data binding gives you better control throughout the application. Number four, virtual DOM. A virtual DOM object is a representation of the original DOM object. It works like a one-way data binding. Whenever any modifications happen in web applications, the entire UI is re-rendered in virtual DOM representation. Then it checks the difference between the previous DOM representation and the new DOM. Once it is done, the real DOM will update only the things that have actually changed, not the entire. This makes the application faster and there is no wastage of memory. So this virtual DOM based mechanism is a main concept in ReactJS, which we have a detailed study in the future sections. Number five, simplicity. Being component based approach makes the code reusable as you need and makes application simple. React finds out what changes have been made and changes only what needs to be changed. This makes you simple and write the application simpler. Number six, finally, the performance. ReactJS is known to be a greater performer. It manages virtual DOM. We do not directly do the DOM. Instead, we are writing virtual components what will turn into the DOM leading to smoother and faster performance. React, easy to learn and use. Now let's see the pros and cons of ReactJS. Let's see the pros. Advantages of ReactJS. ReactJS is known to be SEO friendly. Search engines generally having trouble in reading JavaScript heavy applications. ReactJS overcomes this problem that helps developers to be easily navigated. This is because ReactJS applications can run on the server. That is, it enhances server-side rendering. Do you know what is server-side rendering? Let me explain. When a website is first opened, all operations are carried out on the server and the browser gets an HTML with all the information. 
after JS is loaded, the web turns into a single page application and works respectively. Also, the virtual DOM will be rendering and returning to the browser as a regular web page. So this is why we say ReactJS is to be SEO friendly. The next advantage of using ReactJS, it has a scope for testing the codes. That is, it offers a scope where the developer can test and debug their codes with help of their native tools. Reusable Components ReactJS web applications is made up of multiple components and each component has its own logic and controls. These components are responsible for outputting a small reusable piece of HTML code which can be reused wherever you need them and however you need them. These reusable code helps to make your apps easier to develop and maintain. Performance Enhancement Fast when it comes to displaying a big amount of components. Component and data patterns improve readability which helps to maintain larger apps. Debugging is getting easy with specialized Chrome extension. That is, the support of handy tools. The React developer tools have been designed as Chrome dev extension. Now recently they have developed for Firefox too. This allow you to inspect the React component hierarchies in the virtual DOM and it also allows you to select particular components and exam examine them accordingly. So these are the five major advantages of ReactJS. Now let's, let's see the cons. So it requires mode code in some cases uh, when you have a complex situation or in a larger scale projects but that's all, not a biggest con it's the, just the number of lines of code handled by the react.js we have an improper documentation due to constant update in technologies and accelerating so fast the documents are improper developers write instructions on their own with evolving of new releases and tools in current project we say it's view oriented, covers only view layer of the application, hence you still need to choose other supporting technologies to get a complete tooling set of development. For example, you need a TypeScript or ES6 script, ECM script for the complex applications coding to complete the set of development. This is in a rare case. They say this J yes, X as a barrier. It is actually not. React JS uses JSX. It's a syntax extension that are low HTML with JavaScript mixed together. Uses inline templating and JSX, which might seem awkward to some developers. So this is also occasionally for some developers it looks awkward so it's not a biggest con so we have five major advantages and very few cons to use react.js so that's actually not a biggest disadvantage but you can still consider those that's it